Hi guys! Okay, so today I'm going to be doing my August hits and misses, and a lot of this is kind of like first impressions, basically, for right now, just because I did just recently do that haul, so I really haven't had a chance to use all of my products often enough that where it's like my thoughts on it is concrete. So, actually, you can't really make up your mind about how much you like a product until you're pretty much done with it. But um, this is like, some of it is like my just overall overview of it, but some of it is kind of like based on maybe I used it like a few, only a few times, two, three times. So I'm just, I should just get into it. Okay. Well, one thing that I do have like a pretty concrete idea of how much I like this is this uh, L'Oreal BB Cream in Medium. And this stuff is amazing if you have oily skin. Um... I can't say if you have dry skin just because I don't have dry skin. I have dry patches and I don't feel like it really emphasizes it, but I don't know if you have like overall dry skin, how it would look on you. But I love this stuff. It's amazing. It's um, the L'Oreal Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream in Medium. And it's supposed to prime, correct, hydrate, and perfects. I just love this stuff. Um, I don't like that it's so small. I mean, it is one ounce, like, standard size, but I don't know. Maybe just the packaging. I feel like it looks really small. It looks like it would be, like, an oversized concealer, but this stuff is amazing, and it's just that the one that it comes out white, but it changes to your skin color, and this is so awesome. I love this. What I usually do, since it does leave, leave kind of like a powdery finish um, to me, um, once I blend it out, I blend it out with my hands first, and then once that's done, I, um, use my beauty blender to, like, just kind of blend it into my skin a little more, just so it looks, has a nice, clean finish, not powdery. So, I love this stuff. I've been using it practically every single day, and I'm almost out of it. I have to buy a new one. I probably have, like, this doesn't show me, maybe, like, that much left. That's what it feels like. For this one, I... I haven't really been using it that much. I didn't think it was that great. And then I read the ingredients on it. And uh, this is probably really bad for your skin. Um, it has like a lot of alcohol and fra and it has fragrance in it as well, which is not good for your skin. If any of you guys know Allura Beauty, she is awesome. I'll probably put a link to her down below. Um, she actually did a review of... Not a review, but she mentioned it in her hits and misses of um, the new L'Oreal liquid powder one. And it, she said it had fragrance and alcohol as well. And then this one, first of all, it smells purely of alcohol to me. Like, just when you put it on, it just, just smelling it, it just smells like alcohol, which kind of is like a sign that it's bad as it is. And then I read the, the ingredients, and it's like one of the top ingredients. Not the main one, but it's probably like... I don't know, maybe the fourth one on there, something. It's one of the top ones. And that's just, it's supposed to irritate the skin. It's just not good for you. And that's probably why it, like, absorbs the oil or dries out your skin. So, um, yeah, I'm probably going to, I can't find my receipt for it. I bought it at Target. And I'll probably try to, if I hadn't used as much, I'd probably try to return it. But I feel like I used, like, almost half the bottle, so I probably can't return it anymore. Um, so I might, I don't know, I'm debating whether or not to throw this away or just use it like emergencies or if I'm going to use it for like just an hour or two just to get rid of it. Cause it's kind of like a waste of money just throwing it away, but it's not good for your skin, but I feel like if you don't use it constantly, maybe use it like once every so often for like an hour or two, I don't think it's going to do that much damage because I've obviously worn it a few times and it hasn't made a huge difference. But I feel like I do have, like, a lot more little bumps here, but I still haven't used it as often, so. I don't know. I was never really a big fan of it, and just finding that information out, it just kind of... Don't really want to use it almost at all anymore, so. Just because I already bought it, I wasted the money. Might as well just use it. Um, this one is more like just my first impression of it. This stuff is amazing. Uh, it's the Hourglass Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation. And this feels like, sorry, I have hiccups. Okay, no, never mind. 
Um, this feels like so amazing. I've mentioned this before in probably like my last video or my last two videos. I don't remember. Um, I wore it in my last two videos. This stuff is awesome. It is pricey, so I tend to only use it when I'm actually going out to like a date or just dinner, or just something, you know, a little more of a special occasion makeup for me because it is $55 or $52, so it is pretty pricey, um, but it's amazing. It's well worth the money, especially the packaging. Like this packaging, this is plastic. Is all this plastic? I'm not sure if this is plastic. It feels like plastic, but the, the, the actual bottle is metal, and oh, it is just the most amazing foundation. It is not cakey. It is not thick and nasty feeling. Uh, it just feels so silky, so smooth. It's like, I mean, I don't know what really airbrush makeup looks like, but I feel like this would be similar to that finish. It's just, it leaves the most amazing finish on your skin. And so far, I love this. I haven't, I've only used it like two or three times, so I feel like I don't have like a super concrete idea of how this was going to last, but I love it so far. So those are my foundations. And then I really, I haven't used that many NARS eyeshadows, but the ones I've used have been really good quality to me. I've heard that some people say that they're not as that great, and some people say that they're really good. So I think it just depends on the color you pick. And one of them that I've been really loving that I've said in my haul is this one. Wow. Yeah, you guys can really see which one it is. <laughs> it's the one I mentioned in my haul. It's in Galapagos. It's just like a dark, it looks like a dark matte brown with like a lot of gold shimmer in it. Not really glitter, just regular shimmer. And it's, oh, it's amazing. I feel like it's not distributing well on my hand, but on my finger, you guys can see the intensity. I think it's like the perfect dark brown. Like if you want to use it in the outer corner or all over the lid as a smoky eye, which I did today. Um, this is, I already did a tutorial on this look. I'll probably put a link to it somewhere. Um, anyways, I think this is a great color to have in your collection. Just the dark chocolatey brown. Just like for the outer corner or smoky eye or liner. It's just... It's not super dark where it's like if you wanted to add it somewhere, it's a little too intense, but you can still blend it out, make it wearable, if that makes sense. It's just a great color, and I really do recommend it. I think it's 20, it's 20 some dollars. I know it's not 27. I'm going to say 23 or something around that. I don't remember, honestly, how much it is. I'll uh, list it down below as well, but... They're around 20-something. I'll probably put it somewhere in here. And then a blush that I've been loving, because I have a lot of lip products, so I'm probably going to leave those for last. Um, this blush, I know I've mentioned this probably in every tutorial or every video I've made since I got it. This is the MAC Mineralized Blush in Warm Soul, and this stuff is amazing. I'm wearing it again today, and I think I've worn it every single day since I bought it. I don't think I've used another blush since I bought this. This stuff is amazing. I mean, I know there's a lot of hype on YouTube of it, and that's why I got it, and I understand the hype now, and I feel like you're not going to understand the hype until you buy it. It's just such an amazing color. It's just like a really nice, natural, shimmery pink color that just is kind of like... I don't know how to explain it. It's just a really good color. I feel like it's just a nice, perfect, pinky nude color with a nice little highlight to it. It's just perfect. I feel like it goes perfect with my bronzer. Just like kind of blend them in together. And they make such a pretty finish. I don't know. I love it. I definitely recommend, I definitely recommend trying it out whenever you can. I recommend buying it, but if you don't want to buy it, at least try it out at the store or swatch it or something. Okay, this one, I don't really have a concrete, you know, idea. What am I thinking of? I don't really have a concrete, like, review on this yet. It's the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, but I do have... So, there is something I really don't like about it so far. Um, and it's not really with the how it finishes. It's just, like... I feel like the opening is too big 
and sometimes when I take the brush out it's like completely full of the the mess the mascara yeah mascara like the brush is full of mascara like it's too wide where it doesn't brush it off and I think I mentioned this before but there was so much on it it's like it's gonna clump ridiculously like you're gonna get so many clumps because you can't really brush it off the, the opening is just too wide and you can't get all the product off unlike other mascaras where it's usually close enough so you can it rubs off most of the mascara where you just have enough for your lashes but it's all like gloopy and all in there and it's just kind of gross and I'm kind of scared to use it sometimes but I mean so far I like how it makes my lashes look but if it doesn't have that much mascara on it like right now it's fine it like seems to have like fallen off for the most part it still has a little too much on there and I feel like you can't really rub it off that well you have to like I don't know scrape the wand against the opening or something to get it off but I just really didn't like that about it and then one nail polish that I didn't think I was gonna love I just really liked um, this is the Essie nail polish in Playdate and it's just a pretty lilac color I would show it to you, but it's on my toes right now, and I just loved how it looked on my toes. I'm not taking this off for a pretty long time, most likely. I'm kind of a little scared to try it on my nails, because I feel like lighter colors make my nails, my hands look tanner, and I just don't like how it looks. I don't know why. I just don't like when I wear light nail polishes, on, light colored nail polishes on my hands, and it makes it look my hands look darker. I just... It, it, I just don't think it looks pretty. <laughs> um, but on my toes, I love it. It looks amazing. I don't know what the difference is, but it's there's a difference. And that's pretty much it, other than my lip products, which I will go into next. And I'm actually leaving those for last, because I'm actually going to try them out on my lips. Um, a lip gloss that I think is a great everyday lip gloss, if you guys just want like a regular nude color. Um, is the NYX Butter Gloss in Tiramisu. It's like a pinky nude. This would definitely be an option for this eye look, I think, if you want to like just make the eyes pop and just keep everything else kind of simple and subtle. Um, they're very creamy. It's very soft. Uh, it's really, really good lip gloss. Just an everyday lip gloss, pretty much. But I love it. This, is a been, this has been my new go-to color. Recently. Next is the YSL, uh, I don't know, Rouge Look Shine in Nude and Private. I remember the name this time. Um, this is just an amazing lipstick. Oh my god, it's so great. I It's so expensive, but it's amazing. And I'm probably not going to buy another one of these for a really long time or any other makeup for a long time unless I need it like a backup. But I'll probably repurchase this when I have money and I'm running out. So I'm just going to show it to you guys. And it's not even... I mean, the color is amazing too, but it's just... The texture of it or the finish is just nice and shiny. You don't even need a gloss. The smell is... It smells pretty good. I mean, I'm really picky about fragrances, and I actually like this fragrance. I don't love it, but it's it's a lot nicer than a lot of other fragrances and it's just I feel like it's the perfect nudey lip like your lips but better and I feel like it's almost like a peachy mauve nude I don't know how that makes sense like I feel like it's a mauve color in the tube but on my lips I feel like it looks more like a peachy pink I don't know how that makes sense but it feels amazing on your lips it feels super moisturizing it doesn't feel too thick it doesn't feel too thin where it's like sliding everywhere it's just it's an amazing lipstick. I definitely recommend it. Next is this YSL Glossy Stain. I might as well stay in the same family. I'm kind of going from like lightest to darkest because some of these kind of like leave you a stain finish and it's harder to take off. Um, this one is in... This is a pain in the butt because none of them say the name of the color. They just say what the kind of lipstick it is. But this one is the Fuchsia... I think it's... Fuchsia Cubist. I'm not sure. I'll put the name in the description box as always. Um, sometimes it takes me longer than other times, but I'll put it down there. And um, I was a little skeptical about this, but people said it was really good. But the reason is because 
Apparently, YSL owns L'Oreal, or L'Oreal owns YSL. So they had come out kind of with similar products, not the same, but these are basically the same as Dia as the... I don't know what they're called. I'll probably put the name somewhere here as well. Um, you know those... Uh, new lip glosses by L'Oreal where it's basically the same thing the tube is like gold though and it's like a liquid lipstick color glossy stain the glossy stains which is the same as these <laughs> can't believe I didn't think of that um, it's basically it's supposed to be the same idea just like a cheaper alternative but I really hated that one because I got pretty much the same color as this it was like a deep berry color and I hated it because it was nowhere near as pigmented as this one and I feel like once you got it to an opaque level it was so thick and nasty that it was just uh, I hated the texture of it once you got it opaque it was so thick that like you couldn't even press your lips together or else it would like slide everywhere and then you would have like a bunch of I don't even know how to explain it. It was just really terrible. I really hated it. I feel like this one becomes opaque a lot quicker. You need a lot less product and it almost like dries. It doesn't dry because you will constantly have the glossy finish but it's not super goopy and like shine, you know, like super glossy and goopy that it's going to be moving everywhere. It like kind of dries to the point where it like settles in but stays glossy. That makes sense. Almost like a lipstick, but not a lipstick because it's supposed to be a stain. It's just opaque enough where it has like a nice opaque finish. I don't know. I just really liked it. I think it's a lot better than the glossy stains from L'Oreal. I don't know. It's just much better quality and I will not repurchase the L'Oreal ones. Now are the Hourglass ones and I mean you guys have known that I've always loved my Hourglass liquid lipstick in Icon and that's the one I'm going to try on for you. But I actually, only because this is the one I bought recently that I'm like so in love with but I actually did a tutorial with this like this exact same look with this one and I'll put probably the link right here or right here, somewhere here. So, I mean, I didn't see the point of putting it on again for you if you guys had already seen it. So, I'll try on this one for you so you guys can see the finish. And so I can try on a red lipstick, which one of you guys had asked for. Um, but these Hourglass liquid lipsticks are amazing. They are pricey, but they are worth it. Like, the finish of it, I don't feel like it's super drying. I mean, it is maybe a little drying to some of you guys, but I am okay with the finish. Um, it's matte, but I feel like... It will still come off on your hands, as you guys can see. So it's not completely matte, and I would be careful when you are eating because the way I thought of explaining it, this is, you know, when you get like the regular glue, the little kids, what is the Elmer's glue, and then you it dries on your hand, and then you like rub it together to take it off, and it scrolls into little pieces, whatever. I feel like you get kind of that same finish with the lipstick. It like kind of rolls into little pieces, and then you get like patches where those little roll pieces are. I don't know how to explain it. I mean, you guys try it out and then you guys, usually it only happens when I'm eating and that's pretty much it. I've never, I've never paid attention if it happened any other time, but it's usually just when I'm eating, it gets in like these little rolls or balls and it just, it's not very flattering, so I do have to check up on it if I'm eating. Um, but other than that, I think they're great. They do last very long. They don't move around, which is what I don't like about dark lipsticks. That That's why I don't really like wearing glossy ones, because I feel like they move around too much. This one stays in place unless you like touch it or eating or whatever. But I love these, and they are amazing. And the other one I had was in Empress, the pinker one, and I will have that. You guys will can see the link for that. And finally, I did not mention this in a haul, but um, I also got this OCC Lip Tar in Strumpet. And it actually came with um, the nail polish in the exact same color, which I have not tried out yet. But I loved this color, and I just had to try it out. And it was so pretty! So it's like a dark pink. I put way too much on my hand. That is way too much. You do not need that much. But, um... 
This is like one of the only exceptions where I will wear a glossy bright lip. As you guys can see, this is such a pretty berry color and it does have like the nice minty feeling. It's not that feeling where it kind of like not really burns your lips, but you feel the tingling on your lips, but it, you can still smell and feel the mintiness of it. I don't know how to explain it. It feels minty, but not like that tingling, burning, minty sensation. And you guys can see I still have a decent amount. I can probably do another application with whatever was left over. So a little goes a long way. I'm pretty sure you guys know this by now. These are nothing new on YouTube. I definitely recommend trying it out. And it was... If you like the colors in the set, I would recommend you buying the little set because it's more convenient. It was, I think, it was twenty two fifty for the for the lip tar and the nail polish, which is a great deal because one of these is like eighteen dollars. Not sure how much the nail polish is run, but you're only paying like four fifty more for a nail polish, which is a good. Well, I don't know how great the nail polish is, but. It's a good quality brand. So that's it for my hits and misses. I really hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and check out my other videos. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!